I'm Mrs. Montero, principal at Cottage Hill School. This is Cottage Hill's second year of saluting new readers, and I am so excited to introduce today Mrs. Snyder's monster class of first graders. You are going to love what you see today. Get ready for the big show. Finn 
and made her race away from the bad cars. Finn fights the bad cars. Maynard drives into the spy plane. Polly waits for them. They will escape. He, Polly and Finn tell Mayor they are spy cars. They think Mayor is a spy car too. Mayor will help find the bad cars. Polly gives up. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to me read. Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm going to be reading The Foot Book. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right. We in the morning, we at night. Left foot, left foot, left foot, right. Left foot, dry foot, high foot, low foot. Front feet, back feet, right feet, black feet. Front feet, back feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you need? Slow feet, quick feet, quick feet, sick feet. Up feet, down feet, here come clown feet. Small feet, big feet, here come pig feet. His feet, whole feet, fuzzy full feet. <laughs> In the house and on the street. How many, many feet you need? Up in the air feet, over the chair feet. My legs are getting tired of this. More and more feet, 24 feet. Oh my gosh. Here come more and more and more feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. Oh, how many, many feet you need. Thank you for listening to me, to me read.
like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I will not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Thank you for listening me read. Sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by until finally Pete got to meet the new guy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver too. The new guy said to Pete, Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm your platypus. Pete said, You're not like me and I'm not like you, but I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy, try and see. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. Thank you for listening to me read. My name is Morgan and I'm going to read The Giving Tree. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. 
and they would play in play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often lonely. Then one day, the boy came back to the tree. And the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. And I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry. Thank you for listening to me read. I'm Nikki, and I'm reading Goose Who Saw. One morning, everybody in the neighborhood was busy, except for Goose, who was still sound asleep. Elephant was hanging the wash. Camel was banging on the roof. Lion was typing a letter. Nemo was painting stripes on his house. Rabbit was hopping about in his garden. The busy noises woke Goose. He went to the window. Can a person sleep in peace? She hung all this hanging and banging and typing and striving and hopping and stopping my beautiful dream. Goose closed the window, jumped back into bed, and pulled the covers over her head. Then a loud Last, the music shook the room. Goose went to the window again. The music was coming from Rabbit's garden. They were seeding and weeding and hoeing and mowing. It's bad enough, shouted Goose. What's going on now? My flowers are listening to music, said Rabbit. They grow 33 and one third percent faster when they listen to music. Would you like to borrow a record for your apple tree? Asked Rabbit. It could certainly use it. Not today, said Goose. I'm taking it easy today. I'll do it tomorrow. Goose closed the window. Oh. Thank you for listening to me read. Yay! 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 Mr. Brown can mail of the wonderful things he, Mr. Brown can do. He can go like a cow. He can go moo, moo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Ms. Mater, are you able to come to the phone? can go like a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. How about you? Can you go buzz, buzz? He can go like a cork. Pop, 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 pop. He can go like a
horse feet. Clop, clop, clop. He can go eek, eek, like a squeaky shoe. He can go like a rooster. Cock a doodle doo. He can go like an owl. Who, 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 who? Eek, 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 eek. Cock a doodle doo. Who, who, who? How about you? You can go like a. Thank you for me listening, reading. Hey! dress a dragon, you must be prepared to catch him when he flies by. You may have to tickle tackle him to the floor and give him belly kisses. Once the dragon is filled, it will be time to put on his underwear. The good thing about dragons are wonder a special underwear, especially froggy superhero ones. Silly dragon, ha, hee hee, ho, ha, ha. You might have to sit saddle your dragon to put on his socks. Dragons have very ticklish toes. Silly dragon. Dragons do not like shirts with buttons. Dragons do not like shirts that fall over their heads. Dragons do not like shirts. But they do like capes. Dragons prefer shorts instead of pants. Shorts are much easier to put on with, with big dragon fingers. <coughs> Shoes can be tricky. Please, dragon, don't scrunch up your toes. But if you were to let, them, let your dragon wear his froggy boots, he will be very happy. Clap, clap, clap. Dragons are very picky about hats. They will only wear ones that fit nicely between their horns. When your dragon is all is all still dressed, it, he will want to go outside and play. But beware if he wants to play his favorite game of dragon at night. Thank you for listening to me read. some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. 
The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now the hungry cat, now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar, but he, he built a small house called a cocoon around himself and stayed inside more than two weeks. Thank you for listening to my EV. <laughs>
pass that one back. Thank you for listening to me read. fell back to sleep. Thank you for listening to me read. to play new games. Marley is a dog with lots of zip. When Marley was born, he was the smallest puppy in his litter. But Jenny doesn't mind. I think this is the dog for us, Jenny says. John takes Marley home for the first time. This is your your house, Mar he says. Marley is excited to have a family. Marley loves his new home, but sometimes he has trouble following the rules. Marley runs on the beach with, without his leash. Marley, no, says John. Marley makes a, Marley makes a big mess in the garage. Marley, no, says Jenny. One day, Marley even steals a turkey from the people next door. Marley, no, says John. Sorry, Jenny tells the people next door. Happy Thanksgiving. John and Jenny. Thank you for li thank you for listening to me read. Hey! Hi, my name is Amelia and I'm 
even doing spot big cake. Louder, louder. Where'd you go? It's your dad's birthday on Friday, Scott. Let's bake a cake. We have to go shopping. I need some cheese. Can you find the chocolate spot? Dad loves chocolate cake. Now we can make the cake. We've already started. Spot, that's enough. Whee! The cake is in the oven. Help me clean up, Spot. I am helping. Can I decorate the cake yet, Mom? It's ready now. Go easy on the icing spot. This is the best part. This will be a nice surprise for your dad spot. Happy birthday, Dad. I can't wait. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Sam. Did you make the cake spot? It's decorated! Thank you for listening to me read. open cans we have to open many cans and that's why we have our Zams and Zams for cans it's very good have you a Zams for cans you, you should I like to box how how I like to box every day I like to box in yellow socks I box my box I box in yellow box box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high, my ying sings low. And we are not too bad, you know. This one, I think, is called a, a ying. He likes to eat. He likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to drink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of Ink. Then you should get a, a ying, I think. Hop, 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 hop. I am a yop. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. Thank you for listening to me read. go to school? What grade are you in?
Who's your teacher? Me! And who's the best teacher in the whole world? Me! Hip Hip Hooray!